Good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday, October 31st, Halloween day. And I am in Riviera Maya, Mexico. And today we're gonna take a walk in the Grand Sunset Princess Resort. As you can see from the sign, there's a Grand Sunset Princess and Grand Riviera Princess, both at the same resort, just two different sides of the resort. And I'm staying in the Grand Sunset side. So I'm gonna take you for a little tour around, just do some exploring, and hopefully we see some interesting things. Just right here this is pretty much this is the entrance where you will come in as you arrive at the resort um, if you're coming by bus or car taxi private vehicle whatever this is where you will enter there's tennis courts right there and it's a nice entryway right here with nice fountains and if you decide if you'd like to take a walk just to explore the resort, you can walk all the way around. I did it yesterday just to see what it was like. And I walked on both the Sunset side and the Riviera side. And we came out through here when we finished our walk and just made our way back to where we're gonna go now. So it's a beautiful day, nice sunny day here and it's very hot today. It's about 30 degrees, and, but a nice, beautiful day in Mexico. And I've stayed here once before, and that was probably about 10 years ago. So 2010, roughly. Uh, was that 10 years ago? 12 years ago, oh my gosh. <laughs> So 2010 is when I was last here and we decided to come back again because we just really had a good time here. So let's go for a walk. Hope you enjoy. You can see there's lots of banana trees growing here. Beautiful tropical flowers. even some bananas growing I'll show you there you can see the bananas growing right there it has a big bud at the end of it pretty cool to see if you've never seen them before we have different Flag set up there look, looks really welcoming when you're arriving. Looks like there's a bus leaving now. Probably dropped off some people at the resort. And that's how we arrived by bus. Um, I actually flew here on Sunwing. What a long day that was. It was pretty exhausting. Uh, we had to leave at two in the morning and our plane left at approximately 6 30. Uh, they had to do some de-icing before we could fly so that took a little bit of time and then we finally were on our way but let me tell you that's very long day to travel just so you're aware um, what to expect if you're gonna fly in here. And these are beautiful palm trees, aren't they gorgeous? Just so beautiful. And flying here, um, it was quite busy at the Cancun airport. So uh, when you arrive there, then you have to go through, you know, customs and everything, and that takes time too and then you have to wait for everybody who's getting on the bus to your resort to <laughs> you have to wait for them till they're done at the airport 
so all in all by the time we arrived in Mexico we got in Mexico approximately 9 30 uh, Mexico time and then we got to the resort probably about quarter to 11 after everything was said and done quarter to 11 or 11 o'clock I think and I also just wanted to tell you if you're arriving your room may not be ready so be prepared for that also because ours definitely definitely was not ready and so we were we had to just take time and relax and enjoy ourselves till our room was ready and it was finally ready at about uh, 3 15 p.m. in the afternoon so it's a long day but it's definitely worth it after you get to relax a little while and then you feel better you have something to eat and then go enjoy the, the beach or the pool oh you can see they're working on it looks like another resort maybe over there pretty interesting could be what they're building there I'm not really sure though and you can see here there's different workers arriving to work and checking in and leaving. Sorry if it's windy. So now we're coming up to the main entrance. And then when you um, come to the resort, you will, um, you can leave, they leave your bags here at the front, like you see here, there's a whole bunch of luggage. So you can leave it there and then check in and then you can go about your day and you can use all the amenities after you check in, even if you have to wait for your room. So now we're coming into the lobby. And this is the check-in area here. also concierge right here where you have to if you want to book any of the restaurants which you can do you do it right here and then there's bathrooms here in case you need to use the bathroom and there's showers located down here if you're um, really wanting to have a shower you can do that after you check in Right here, there's a bar and there's a nice seating area where you can sit and have a drink or um, you can have coffee and tea here as well. They set it up. They set up a table in the mornings for that, which is really nice. And all along here, really nice seating areas. And then there's an information desk right here if you want to get help with anything. Yeah, it's really nice at night too, all lit up, very nice. There's a place here where you can book some trips. Any excursions, you can do it there. And this is where our Sunwing rep is, if you have any questions, depends who you're flying with, then you can come here and ask them anything you need to ask them. And you can also book different day trips with them and whatnot. And if you want to go into the town that's not too far away, which is Playa del Carmen, then um, 
they provide a free shuttle for you if you'd like to do that but there's other ways to get there too like a taxi okay so let's go down here so I'm really enjoying my trip so far there I am hi hello <laughs> take the stairs oh let's get a quick peek here and there's elevators right here for those um, that cannot take the stairs there are elevators very not too far from the lobby and there's a ramp right here and we're gonna take a walk along there after I'm just gonna go down the stairs this is the garden side of the resort or I think they call it garden view. So we're gonna make our way around the resort and then end up back at the lobby at the end, okay? Here's a souvenir shop right here, which is nice. It's a little pricier than if you go shopping somewhere else. But if you don't want to leave the resort, there's options for shopping. And you can see just everything is so lush with greenery, beautiful palms. Very beautiful. you can take here I'm wondering if we should take the shuttle or not I don't know oh okay look so this is one of the animals you're probably going to see when you come to the resort they're kind of raccoon like they're, they are related to the raccoon family. They're really cute and weird, but <laughs> yeah, so you'll see a lot of them here. This one's small compared to other ones I've seen, but usually they're traveling in like groups, families. There goes the shuttle that takes you from one end of the resort to the other and they travel along the outside of the resort as we're walking here. And it's very convenient if you don't feel like walking in the heat or <laughs> you just want a quicker way to the lobby or to the beach area. And you can see here, here's the first block of rooms. And there's usually signs like you'll see right here and it's very helpful to help you find your way to the different section of rooms as you can see they show all the room numbers and then it tells you how to get to platinum uh, area and the beach club and the different restaurants and you can see that it says snack sunset and snack riviera those are also two buffets um, and there's two more buffets near the lobby but these two uh, snack sunset and snack riviera are near closer to the beach um, and the swimming pools and just nice for a change if you're looking for a change for somewhere to eat
go. It looks like there's another resort next door. Not sure which one that is. As you can see, there's lots of beautiful gardens and tropical plants and trees. Very beautiful. And there's where you can leave your drink, your uh, cups and things on top of the garbage cans. And they even have uh, organic drop off and a place to recycle your cans. Last night um, when we were here, we were in the room and I was just sitting in, on the balcony and all of a sudden three deer appeared, which was really, really cool to see. And um, also that animal back there that I showed you, the Cody, um, you'll see a lot of them and they climb on your balcony too, just so you're aware. Uh, they go everywhere, so um, yeah, <laughs> and they make a mess too. Well, you might also see some cats. We've seen a few cats roaming around and also squirrels and monkeys yep you will probably see some monkeys if you're lucky enough i've seen them every day so far says this is a meeting point. Is that just in case you're lost? And we're just coming up to the kids club. If you wanna do something, you know, with just you and your other half, and there's somewhere your child can go and enjoy the day, and there's lots of activities they put on for them, and they can have a lot of fun there. So this is where that is. Here comes the shuttle coming back. And there's different stops for the shuttle. Like there's one coming up right here at different sections of the resort where you can wait for it. And I think from what I remember, it comes about every 10 minutes or so, something like that. So it's kind of convenient too. If you're tired, you know, you don't feel like walking. So there you go, sunset stop for the, the shuttle. Oh, looks like this is a target practice area. I don't know when they run that. So this is a quieter area of the resort. If you just want a nice quiet walk, this is where you can do it. Or at night, walking through, through the resort, it's quite peaceful and beautiful, all lit up. See here, there's one entrance way to the, some rooms, and then there's a stairway in the center there where you can go in. And I believe there's another elevator somewhere along here. I'm just not, I don't remember where exactly. 
Olá! This morning I took a walk through here and as I was walking this family of monkeys came running out like up there a little bit and running running across the way they went so that was really neat to see um, the palm trees here a lot of them have different little um, fruits on them and nut type things that they a lot of the animals eat they fall to the ground and they eat them, but you'll see the Cody's climbing them to get the, the berries or whatever. Now, I am staying in a junior suite and that gets you all of the amenities of the resort, except uh, if you want room service that's an extra charge and there's the chill out lounge um, that's a restaurant right on the beach which is an extra cost um, but everything else you can use all the other restaurants you get included with that and I'm quite happy with the room that we have it's quite nice and cozy nice comfortable bed in here all the jungly areas and uh, mangroves there that's where a lot of the Cody's come out of and the monkeys I know there's um, crocodiles closer down there I haven't seen any yet I tried to go look and I didn't see it so hopefully um, we'll still see that at some point but you might see that if you come and stay here. And we're just coming up to the platinum area. So this is where the shuttle finishes its run, it makes its way around, then goes back down there to close to the lobby. See platinum? So it depends where you stay in the resort. Platinum section is closer to the beach. And we're just coming up here. I can already see chill out sign. It looks like they're doing some renovating here. <laughs> looks like they're building a little pool. Upgrades. So you can see the sign here that tells you um, it's a preservation area, wildlife and flora habitat and the different animals that you might see. See the crocodile, monkeys, lizards. You see lots of lizards here. It's really neat. And there's the sign for the chill out restaurant lounge. So this is the entrance way here and then the beach is right on the other side of it. Um, when I was here last, like, none of this was here. <laughs> it's amazing how much it's grown. Um, yeah, so you could see through clearly all the, um, the water area and everything, not anymore. So we're just gonna go to the end here and then I'm gonna turn around. We can see all the cool roots growing from the trees. So right here you can see there's little turtles. That's for dinner, oh no! <laughs> Poor turtles. Trying to focus in on them. Can't get a good look at them. Oh, there they are. There he is. There's 
the turtle. But yeah, this is where you can see the crocodile sometimes from what he told me. I don't see him anywhere at all. Hope the crocodile leaves the turtles alone though. Hi turtle. Hi. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna make our way back now. See, isn't this nice? What a lovely place to come and just enjoy a nice relaxing walk. Here are all the beautiful birds. That's what I like about it. When you wake up in the morning and you hear all these beautiful birds and you see them. And today I saw a few green parrots and these beautiful yellow birds. I don't know what they were called, but Gorgeous and little butterflies flying around here. There you go. Oh, there he is. Flying around. And you can see here they have the barbed wire. Keep the crocodiles out. <laughs> Don't want them roaming around. That looks like they're doing some work here on the rooms. Okay, now we're going to make our way to. The middle walkway of the resort and I'll take you to see the beach area and then we'll make our way down back through the resort to the lobby again. People at the resort are quite friendly, which I like. And now we're just coming up to the other buffet that I told you about. It's this snack sunset buffet, and it tells you, um, I think, where is it? I think at the end it tells you the times they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner but we had breakfast there this morning. It was really nice. I really enjoyed it there. It's just a change if you, uh, you know, want a different place to eat. Oh, there's something going on. In, there's a party pool area here for those of you that like a lot of entertainment coming up to it. I think they're having like Halloween festivities today too. And across this pole here is the other buffet, which is the Riviera snack, or a snack Riviera. And that's the way back to the lobby. That's to the Riviera side. And just different directions for different places on here. And to the beach. And you'll find too that there's different areas where they have food that they cook fresh for lunch and dinner. Um, I don't know how long they're open till. Oh, it's very loud. <laughs> they have all kinds of the drink cart. Hola. <laughs> And this is where they're cooking, um, I think it's the taco stand, and they are so delicious. Yep. And there's another pool sort of like this, a little bit down the other way, we'll see that on the way back. Like playing some type of game. Okay. okay, hold on, 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 wait, 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 wait. Now you have 10 points. Ahora tú tienes 10 puntos. Pero, pero, but, if you want, if you want five more points, you need dance, that's all. Oh, they have to do, they're having like a dance-off. Y no te voy a dar 10, te voy a dar 15, te voy a dar 20. There's lots of activities here for you to enjoy. See, it shows you every day what shows they put on. 
Um, today is Monday, so that's the Halloween one. And then throughout the week, it changes, which is fun. And I heard that this one there is quite popular, Michael Jackson show. And then it tells you all the different activities you can do, like water polo, volleyball, dance lessons, and the disco is at 10.30, and they have tennis classes, there's so much things you can do here. And there's another pool there, we'll see it on the way back. They also have snacks in there, but they're a little pricier. Oh, I just noticed something. Let's go see. So you'll probably see these critters if you're at the resort too, iguanas. They're here and there. Sometimes they live underneath the statues that you'll see along the walkways. He's a big one. <laughs> yeah, but they're pretty fascinating. Cute little guys. And this is the walkway to the beach. Oh, I can hear the, I hear that noise. I think those are the Cody's. Oh yeah, there's one there. Yeah, you'll see them. And you hear them arguing with each other sometimes. Where's that bird? The birdie. Oh, where he went? There he is. There he is. You gonna come out here? Show us safe. So no one else heard. No, he's not coming out yet. Oh, there's one over here. Oh, he went underneath. There's one there. Yeah, there's so many of them around, though. So there's scuba diving today. You can get a free diving demo. Just to show you, this is the beach. You play volleyball. There's a bar right here. And if you walk a little further down, there's a place where you can get a bite to eat. If you walk past the bar, there's this place right here. Oh, and they have um, hamburgers here, and they can get nachos. It's really pretty good too. If you like to get a massage, you can get a massage here, right on the beach. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that'd be amazing. And there's all tons of palapas here to enjoy and take in the view or go for a swim. Beautiful beach. you here there's a sign on the beach that this section here is for the Grand Sunset and Grand Riviera Princess for the Laguna Villas and Platinum Guests. So you get to come to this part of the beach and the loungers are a little bit nicer. Yep so that's the perks you get if you um, book that type of room. Okay and they have some nice hammocks here. You can come and fall asleep. <laughs> Place here. 
here you can buy tickets for something. There's the information center if you want to use the kayaks and things. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Resort grounds itself is very nice. Um, they really, really keep it well maintained, and they're always they're always working hard too and cleaning. there's uh, another big pool right here on the right and then behind the hedges there there's another swimming pool which I noticed yesterday and I'm thinking that's um, for platinum but I'm not positive on that either so it doesn't hurt to look into it there's a nice little pool here for small children. It's perfect. It's not very deep at all. More like a little wading pool. And then of course both pools on both sides have swim up bars. For those of you that like to get a beverage and just sit there and relax and enjoy it. And the pools, the water is very nice and warm. Not over warm, just, just nice. And they have the lifeguard tower here. Oh, somebody lost their ball. Lost the ball. Uh, welcome. Oh, there's more of those Cody's up here. Now, sometimes up here you can see the monkeys. Oh, look at them all coming out now. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi there. There's a little wee one. So cute. digging for things, scavengering. You can see more of them in there too. There they are. Now this is where the monkeys were yesterday, but I don't see them today. Sometimes they're more on the Riviera side. Maybe I'll take a walk over there to see if I can find any. And this is where you can get fresh towels. If you want to exchange your towels, that's where you do it. Okay, and there's another pool here, quite shallow. And this is all the statues. You'll see these statues all along the walkways, different ones. Different statues from the Mayan culture. See the sign, do not feed the animals. I don't want that to happen to you. <laughs> so, but I have seen people feeding them. You just take that chance. Nice 
This is another like, activity pool. Oh, people dressed in costumes. Contender number three. Right here to the left is where you can get uh, hamburgers, um, or chicken burgers, and. They're very, very delicious, and you can sit right here and eat if you want. And there's a little thing where you can paint your own pottery. Nice souvenir to take home. And there's a ping pong table here if you like to play ping pong. As you can see, it's quite busy at the resort. And these up here in the front are sw called swim out rooms where you can pretty much come off your balcony and go into the pool, which is a nice bonus. washrooms right here and another place where you can find out about activities so now we're heading back towards the lobby and so on the left of the walkway is the sunset side and on the right is the Riviera side. So they're pretty much very similar to each other except a few little different um, things that might look a little different compared to each other but most on the most part like the rooms as you see they look the same on both sides of the resort. This is the pool I spent the whole morning at today. <laughs> it was quite nice. It's more relaxed here, which I like. Not so um, noisy, much quieter if you just wanna chill out and enjoy the pool. And then you can see, you can go right under the bridge in this one, swim right through. really hot <laughs> um, but I am very much enjoying my vacation here it's beautiful um, I <laughs> I've spent like a lot of time in the pool just swimming around and, and then uh, the buffet's been really good so far but one thing I do uh, with the statues to remember where my room is because I remember what the statue is like this one here and then some of them are right at the walkway to sections of the room so if you remember that where you come out then you won't forget where to go these here are the villas um, there are a little more to stay in these but they look really nice. Let's go take a quick peek. And I think they all have a shower on their balcony from what I heard. To see. Maybe up top, I'm not sure. But that's what I heard. I don't know if it's, no, I don't see any. Yeah, very nice though, out here. 
Oh, and then they have their own pool and their own gazebos there with loungers. Beautiful. So that's the added perk to that too. Okay, let's keep going. more of the cool looking statues at the end of walkways to rooms. This one's a snake. You can see all the beautiful grounds though, how lovely it is here. Look back at all the palm trees. about 10 to 4 now and it feels even hotter to me. I don't know why. Oh, look at this little kitty. Hi. Hello. Aw. <laughs> just waking up. Or maybe I disturbed him. Oh, he's going back to sleep. But you'll see those here. Aw. <laughs> you'll see them around the resort. A few of them. Makes me want to take them home. Um, see right here, this statue here. That's to my room. My room is one, two, third one up right there on the end. Right there, beep, beep. That's my room. And every morning I'll see the Cody's and the trees picking those berries. You can see the berries there hanging or nuts or whatever they are. That's what they like to eat. Now we're getting closer to the lobby. Oh, right here they have these beautiful trees which are rooted their roots go really far out they're really cool looking I just want to show you them and we're gonna cut through here because I want to show you where they have like the central area between the Grand Sunset side and the Riviera side where they have their entertainment and buffets and shops here but look at this tree. Isn't it gorgeous? But you'll see all types of beautiful trees like that here. At night this looks really beautiful it's all lit up everywhere and then they have little candles on the tables sometimes you see people sleeping on these loungers <laughs> and these light up at night as well these marble pillars look beautiful oh and they set up decorations I think that's for, oh, they're making the altar now. They're making it for the Day of the Dead, which is a big celebration they have here. Um, it's for honoring loved ones who have passed away. 
and so they build an altar and then they have all types of uh, sweet breads and you'll see it decorated with like see the orange marigold you'll see all types of flowers like that and then pictures of loved ones and then they'll decorate with the skull candies as well so it looks like they're just setting up for that oh, beautiful Here's one buffet right here. So you can have breakfast there, lunch there, and dinner there. And then there's another one exactly the same right here. There's a bar at the very far back. And then you can come out here and sit at night and enjoy the entertainment. And this is the other buffet here. This is the Riviera Buffet. And if you go on down there to the end, that leads you to the Riviera side. And then there's more shops and things and it leads you to the lobby as well of the Riviera side. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs now so I can show you where the restaurants are. And then I think that'll be it for today. So up here are where the restaurants are. We're coming up to them now. Mamma Mia, which is the Italian. And then next door to it is, I hope I pronounce it right, La Vaccheri. And it's, uh, they have steak there. I saw that on the menu last night. So I'm guessing that's the steakhouse. And then over here, that's just more of the restaurant, the steakhouse. Oh, it looks so beautiful though, with the decorations. I think I'll get a picture of that too. <laughs> so beautiful. And you can see there's more tables. You can sit up here and enjoy the view from down below. It's very nice here at night just to sit and enjoy the evening. I'll give you a little peek inside. See in there. And then there's Miso restaurant, which I think is the Asian one, if I'm not mistaken. And I think there's one more over here. Now oh, there's the restaurants here. This one is La Fleur and La Hacienda. So now you know where they are, upstairs. And it gives you the menus here, tells you what they have, just to give you an idea of the main dishes. And then the kids menu. So you do have to book those in advance and then you can eat there, which I'm hoping we're gonna do that. <laughs> oh, so that's it. And then it continues on down here to the Riviera side. Oh, I think that's it. That's it for the tour. There's also a map too um, along at the walkway by the pool area. If you cannot find your way, it'll help you locate where you need to go. Oh, they're preparing their Halloween music. <laughs>
forgot to show you where the, oh, what is this? Las Vegas Casino. I didn't know that was there. I didn't notice that. It's closed. I didn't know they had a casino here, but I just wanted to show you the sports bar where you can get food and there's all types of cool games you can play in there or sit and enjoy sports on TV. So that's here, Fifth Avenue Sports Bar. can't really see in there a little bit I wanted to show you that and then we're back at the near the lobby area okay and there's some shops right here maybe you need swimwear or an outfit sunglasses they have it all there in the shops all right that's going to do it for today's walk thank you so much for watching uh, stay tuned for the next video and bye for now.